Brian, what's the point of emphasis for you guys going into BC this week? Yeah, I mean, we got to play a darn good football game. I don't know we have to press and try to play our you know best game ever, but we got to go play a solid game. We got to take care of the football. Got to get some turnovers on defense, you know, uh, make a big play on special teams. And uh, we got to play consistent. I thought we had a good week of practice. Defense had two really good days. Uh, we flew around and after playing on a five day week, uh, the energy's back. Well, that, well, that's good. I mean, we didn't lose our morale. We we're a little, I thought a little flat going in the meetings to start the week. You know, we're licking our wounds a little bit, but we said, hey, we got to get past that stage. And they, they brought the juice yesterday, so I was very uh, happy with their performance. Is consistency for you limiting turnovers? Yeah, for sure. And execution, right? Uh, and, and assignment sound, right? So, you know, two, two of those interceptions, we, we, we had some bust on there. So, uh, you know, and, and everybody had a hand in it. So we all got to clean it up. Uh, you know, we, we said we got all day today, all day tomorrow on travel. And we got the, the day of the game to, to continue to prep and make sure we know what we're doing. What what hasn't worked on the road for this group this year? I mean, one and five, and what so what can you pinpoint that maybe there's been some ups and downs? But I mean, what do you what do you flag for that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough to win on the road, right? But you know, some of these Eastern games, you know, you expect to win on the road, right? It's not a long travel. You know, you go far out west. You know, those games are tough. Uh, we just haven't played well on the road, and uh, you know, we haven't started you know, very well. Those teams jump up on us early. The crowd gets into it, and we fight back. You know, try to make it a game, but uh, you know, we got to start fast and, and make the right plays early, um, and we got to eliminate turnovers on the other side of the spectrum I mean, you guys against the west this year have been brilliant i mean what do you credit that to well, we we play well against them at home, right? And you should win your home games versus Western teams. They got long travel. That's kind of how we, we look at it. But you know, we always play pretty well at home. I haven't played as consistent as we want to. We're kind of work in progress still. But uh, you know, it's getting to that time in the season. We gotta you know start playing better football. How much emphasis do you want to put on the run this this Friday as well? Got to. You know, I think you know getting Chad back. We want to get him going. Um, you know, had opportunities to push the ball down the field early, so we went after him. Just didn't work out. So then we you get to the run game, and then you're down a ton. So we got to get it going early. Uh, got to get Kadeem going early, and we also got to move the chains on second and medium you know that's where we've been having to throw the ball defenses have played a, a, a not a light box right so they've made us throw it and uh you know we, we got to find a happy medium there when we're going to run it on second down and uh, we got to get going early i want to get your perspective on on david unger i mean he had 13 catches last game i mean that's a career high for him uh the chemistry between him and Cad, chad um you know is through the roof just wondering what makes him so elusive and what makes him such a safety blanket for chad there in the offense yeah that's one thing with dave you can count on him right dave you know he looked at his grade for the um you know, pro football focus, whatever what, that, that's, that stuff is, but you know, he grayed out uh, really good, and he's consistent. You know, he's Mr. Consistent, brings an edge to him every day. You know, comes to work, brings his lunch pail. Um, you know, he's he's very focused, um, and I think he's getting more opportunities. And the more opportunities he's you know show that you know he, he probably needs a few more touches. Thanks, Rick. Is, is that an actual with, with Unger and Kelly? Like it seems to be a real comfort level between the two. You played quarterback. Is is that a thing where guys will have that sort of unwritten? Thing between them? No doubt. And when you got a receiver you can count on, right, that you can trust, you know, he's going to be in the right space. He's going to run the route like you want. He's going to go up and get it. Um, you know, I think, you know, Dave's elusive. You know, we hit some double moves with him. Um, you know, we had him on some low levels. He can kick through some tackles. So I think Chad just knows he can trust him, that he's going to get the job done. And, and if I need a completion, you know, I, I know it's going to be consistent. I have an opportunity to get a completion here.